Learn how to create this very simple art right now, using Affinity Designer. Start by opening up Affinity Designer, and then create your new document in a 1920x1080p resolution. And then drag an image that will serve as a guide for your main character. Adjust the size, position and rotation of the character, to fit your preference. Now use the pen tool to trace the edges of the character and the ground. Then put your points along the edges by clicking the left mouse button. Do a rough sketch for now, as we will fine tune these edges later using the node tool. To make up for the ground, trace the whole bottom area of this picture, and then connect your last point together with your first point. Notice the yellow highlight which signifies the closing of the traced area once you left click. Also, don't forget to make a separate sketch of this area here, between the legs and the belly. Once the tracing is done, use the node tool to refine the edges of your selection. Drag these straight lines to form the curve edges of the character. Keep in mind, that it is not necessary to adjust these curves with 100% accuracy. A close enough resemblance is fine. You can also convert individual vertices to smooth, if they are too sharp to make for a curve. Once the edge tracing is done, we don't need this guide image anymore. So it is now safe to delete this. Choose a black color to fill our tracing, so that it will resemble the silhouette of our character and ground. In the layers panel, Select the two layers by left-clicking and holding down the shift button at the same time. And then use this XOR tool, to punch through this area between the legs and the belly of our character. Now using the ellipse tool, create a circle for our moon, to be placed behind the character. Choose your color, add some noise, and then drag this circle layer below our character layer. Now, make the background using the rectangle tool. And then use the fill tool or gradient tool to create a gradient color for the sky. Feel free to use any color that you like. After you've done with the gradient color, drag this layer towards the bottom, so that it will appear behind the moon. 
You can also add some effects to the character, to make it look better. In this case we will use the outer glow effect, to resemble the moonlight effect, hitting our ground and character. Make some changes to your background color, if you feel the need to. and then make some random shapes, to add some textures to the surface of the moon. Shift select all of these shapes, and then add a black color. Press Ctrl G, to group them together, and then drag its layer inside of the moon layer. Adjust its opacity, and add Gaussian blur effect to these shapes. Make some adjustments regarding its position, rotation or opacity, to create the look you are after. Then, add the outer glow and Gaussian blur effects for the moon also. Now, using the star tool, draw a star to resemble the night sky in the background. Make it white in color, and then make copies of it with varying sizes, and place a few of them behind the moon. We have now reached the end of this Affinity Designer tutorial. If you have also installed Affinity Photo in your Windows computer, you can still follow along from here. But if not, proceed to render this image with a 1920x1080p resolution. Thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. God bless.